One of the most elusive questions as far as music production goes is how do I know when my mix is done? Well, if you are like me, you've probably had a few mixes here and there where you've spent way more time than you need to to get that last 2% just just right but we are a nitpicky bunch and that is our job is to be as into the mix as we possibly can but when is enough enough so the law of diminishing returns is a law in economics but it also applies here so the first maybe 80 80 90 percent of your mix tends to happen pretty quickly right you get your panning figured out you might uh, get rid of any EQ uh, issues that you hear, like if you've got a ringy guitar or something that you know right away, okay, I have to fix that. A lot of those things are addressed within the first couple of hours of working on a mix. Then your mix kind of starts to level off and be about the same each time, no matter what tweaks you're making. So how do you know when you're starting to just go around in circles. I'll listen through on a few different systems. I'll listen in my control room here, or I'll listen in the car, I'll listen on earbuds. I'll, I'll make sure that everything is, is translating well. Do I hear each element distinctly? Are there any pieces that are buried? Are there any words that I can't hear that I should be able to? Have someone who's done more records than you listen and ask uh, what their general opinion is. They're gonna be listening for some things that you might not have thought of listening to. Sometimes just giving yourself some time in between when you do your print and you're uh, listening to your mix to revise it. Don't finish your mix here and then immediately pop it into the car and, and listen there. You're going to be so used to the environment that you're in that you're going to wonder why it's, it's just not working when you take it into a different environment. When you're recording, you're in such an evaluation mode that you can't really listen to the music for the music. And that's really what our goal is to get across as mix engineers is we need the song and the story to just come through and to grab someone in the, right in their emotions and pull them along for the ride and you can't really get into that space if you don't allow yourself that time uh, in between evaluation and just listening to the creative product at the end.